This TV Mass is brought to you live by Philippine Long Distance Telephone, SME Nation. Success through technology with PLDT, SME Nation. sa salamat. Yan po ang ating kadahilanan kung bakit tayo nagkakatipon. So that to God, the great lover, we can give back the glory, the honor, and the praise. We begin then in the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. The grace and peace of God, of our Father, and the Lord Jesus Christ be with you all. And with your spirit. Palagi nating naririnig yung sinabi ni John Paul II about the Eucharist. The Eucharist is not just a gift among many other gifts, but the gift par excellence. Pinaka sa lahat ng pwedeng maibigay. Sapagat ang binibigay ni Kristo sa Eucharistia ay ang kanyang sarili mismo. For those moments when we took Him for granted, we ask the Lord's forgiveness. Together we say, I confess to Almighty God and to you, my brothers and sisters, that I have greatly sinned in my thoughts and in my words, in what I have done and in what I have failed to do, through my fault, through my fault, through my most grievous fault. Therefore I ask, Blessed Mary, ever Virgin, all the angels and saints, and you, my brothers and sisters, to pray for me to the Lord our God. May Almighty God have mercy on us, forgive us our sins, and bring us to everlasting life. Amen. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Christ, have mercy. Christ, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. To Him we give our praise as we now together sing. Walhati sa Dios sa kahitaasan.
tayo po'y manalangin. O God, who have prepared for those who love you good things which no eye can see, fill our hearts, we pray, with the warmth of your love, so that loving you in all things and above all things, we may attain your promises which surpass every human desire. Through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, one God, forever and ever. Amen. Please be seated for the liturgy of the word. Wisdom is like a gentle lady who invites people to her house for dinner. She is the personification of God who provides good things for his people. Our first reading. A reading from the book of Proverbs. Wisdom has built her house. She has set up her seven columns. She has dressed her meat, mixed her wine. Yes, she has spread her table. She has sent out her maidens. She calls from the heights out over the city. Let whoever is simple turn in here. To the one who lacks understanding, she says, Come, eat of my food and drink of the wine I have mixed. Forsake foolishness that you may live. Advance in the way of understanding. The word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. invites his Christian converts to live godly lives, thanking God for everything and attuning their conduct to his will. Our second reading. 
a reading from the letter of St. Paul to the Ephesians. Brothers and sisters, watch carefully how you live, not as foolish persons, but as wise, making the most of the opportunity, because the days are evil. Therefore, do not continue in ignorance, but try to understand what is the will of the Lord. And do not get drunk on wine, in which lies debauchery, but be filled with the Spirit, addressing one another in psalms and hymns and spiritual songs, singing and playing to the Lord in your hearts, giving thanks always and for everything, in the name of our Lord Jesus Christ, to God the Father. The word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. Please all stand to give honor to the Holy Gospel. with you and with your spirit the proclamation from the holy gospel according to saint john glory to you o lord jesus said to the crowds i am the living bread that came down from heaven whoever eats this bread will live forever and the bread that i will give is my flesh for the life of the world the Jews quarreled among themselves, saying, How can this man give us his flesh to eat? Jesus said to them, Amen, amen, I say to you, Unless you eat the flesh of the Son of Man and drink his blood, you do not have life within you. Whoever eats my flesh and drinks my blood has eternal life, and I will raise him on the last day. For my flesh is true food, and my blood is true drink. Whoever eats my flesh and drinks my blood remains in me and I in him. Just as the living Father sent me and I have life because of the Father, so also the one who feeds on me will have life because of me. This is the bread that came down from heaven. Unlike your ancestors who ate and still died, whoever eats this bread will live forever. Sisters and brothers, the Gospel of the Lord. Praise to you, Lord Jesus Christ. Mga kapatid, last Sunday, as we listened to Jesus, the reaction of those who were listening to Him were saying, irrational, impossible, no way that's going to happen. Nako, etos lang yan. Hindi totoo yan. As Jesus began to claim that there is going to be power in Him who receives Him, a power that will bring Him to eternal life, today, Jesus' claims becomes even more, claims become even more irrational. In fact, horrifying. Jesus told them, Hanggang sa hindi nyo kinakain ang aking laman, hanggang sa hindi nyo iniinom ang aking dugo, hindi kayo tunay na mabubuhay. Wala ang buhay ko sa inyo. That is horrifying. They were stunned. Ano bang pinagsasabi nito? And we could understand why. Because cannibalism in any, any, in almost every culture, culture is something we, we people are horrified about. Pero ang mga Hudyo, lalo na. Alam niyo ba kung bakit ang mga iglesia ni Kristo hindi kumakain ng dinuguan? Lalo na kung walang puto. It's because ang kanilang paniniwala, blood is the source of life. At sinasabi niyan sa lumang tipan, you are not supposed to eat blood. Kahit anong kakainin niyo, dapat yan. Kung kayo kakatay, let the blood flow to the ground and cover it. Pero wag na wag kayong kakain ng anything na may buhay na 
kakainin nyo kasama ang dugo. Because blood is the source of life. At ipinagbabawal yan sa lumang tipan. And so when Jesus claims today, I am the bread of life, at alam mo, at first hindi nila maintindihan, ano ba pinagsasabi nito? Aba, to make it clear, sinabi, pinagkadiinan pa, unless you eat my flesh, unless you drink my blood, you will have no life in you. My dear friends, today, the claim of Jesus becomes truly something that is not easily acceptable. Pero anong punto niya? Anong ibig niyang iparating? Pag ikaw ay nagmamahal, natural sa isang tao, na pag wala ang iyong minamahal, sasabi mo, Miss na kita. Sana na andito ka. Sana katabi kita. Sana magkaakap tayo. Sana natutulog akong nagkakadal ako sa iyo. O di ba ganun yun? Kung hindi ka marunong umibig, hindi mo maintindihan yun. But you would know that for anyone lover, the desire always is to be close to the beloved. Jesus brings up that level of loving. Hindi lamang na sinasabi niya, sana magkalapit tayo. Alam gusto niya, sana nasa iyo ako. At ikaw na may nasa akin. The desire of Jesus today is not just that He will be close to us, but that truly we will receive Him. So paanong pamamaraan? In His great design, He decided to become food and drink para sa atin. Kanina, ang ganda ng sinabi ni Cardinal Tagle. Pag sinabi natin, pinapangako ni Kristo to give us eternal life, yung eternal life, hindi yung susunod pa. Eternal life is when we open our heart to Jesus and accept Him into our heart. Bakit? Sapagat sa oras na tinanggap natin siya, tinatanggap din natin ang buhay na kinuha niya galing sa Ama. And so when the person opens his heart to Jesus, not only does he say yes to Jesus, but he says, yes to your life. Halika, Lord. Kaya sabi ni San Agustin, hindi lamang na ikaw ay tumatanggap, kundi ikaw ay magbabago. Because ang buhay ni Cristo will be in you. Eternal life can begin here on earth. When you begin to live your life as God's life in you. At sinabi na natin, di ba, na pag yung tinanggap mo, last Sunday, kinuwento natin sa Elisandrina, that the moment you accept Jesus, His promise is, I will not only bring myself, I will bring all the blessings and the powers of heaven with me. And in that person, katulad ng ginawa niya kay Elisandrina, bilang proof of His power, 13 years, walang inom, walang kain. And that person lived because he has the power of Jesus. He had the power of Jesus in him. My dear friends, the world continues to be not believing. And Jesus naman throughout the history has been proving He truly is present. Ito matutuwa kayo sa kwentong aking nakita, natagpuan kanina. Si Father Robert de Grandis, a charismatic priest, began to write a book about healing through the Eucharist. At ito yung isa sa kanyang mga kwento na talagang pag hindi mo paniniwalaan, mahirap. Pero kung alam mo kung paano umibig ang Diyos, matatanggap mo. Ang mga scientists ng NASA discovered that things have energies. May energy. Pag kinuha nila yung kanilang mga camera na special at pag ifinocus nila sa mga stars, they would see that every star has an energy surrounding it. Pero hindi lang yung stars. Tao. Basta buhay. Kaya sila, pag ginamit nila yung kamerang yon at ifinocus nila sa isang tao, makikita na yung aura of energy surrounding the person. Pati mga animals, mayroon nun. The energy, the heat that comes from a person's body. At habang ang isang tao ay naghihingalo, lumiliit yung aura na yan until it completely disappears. Kami mga pari, hindi naman sa pag-aano, mafe-feel din namin yan. Pag kami nag anointing na ng mga may sakit, at pag tina-touch na namin in the anointing, we could feel the energy. Some people speak, no? Kahit dito sa atin, that, that, uh, that you can feel the energy of a person. 
Sometimes very strong. Sometimes pag may sakit, umihina. So itong dalawang scientists wanted to discover more of that. And with the permission of a hospital, they decided to set up an area. And then, ishoot yung mga pasyente. So sa isang kwarto kung saan, na andun yung isang pasyente, nagkaroon sila ng one-way mirror habang ino-observe nila ang isang pasyente. At talagang nakita nila serious na numinipis ng numinipis yung kanyang aura of energy. Habang sinushoot nila, nagulat sila sapagat may pumasok. At nang pumasok na to, nakita nila habang ang kamera ay tumatakbot umaandar, na yung mamang pumasok, sa bulsa niya, mayroong intense white energy. That's the strongest white energy. It was so intense na nagulat sila, ano to? Ano tong dala niya? At nang inilabas niya yung tangangay niya, lumiwalag sobra yung buong kwarto. And he said, what is this? At nang ibinigay doon sa mamang may sakit, pati yung mamang may sakit, biglang lumakas yung energy. And at a certain point, so intense, hindi na kaya ng camera. So tumakbo silang dalawa, itong dalawang scientists, to find that where is this energy coming from? Where is this light coming from? Nagulat sila. Pari yung pumasok. At ang nasa bulsa niya was the blessed sacrament. At nang ito'y ibinigay doon sa may sakit, the energy began to enlarge even in the person who was sick. The energy of the flesh and blood, the life that is coming from the divine. Yung scientist, yung in charge, sabi niya, this is beyond me. I am a scientist. That a little piece of bread should give that kind of an energy is beyond me and recorded by the camera. I could not understand This is beyond my explanation. This is science. This is something that science cannot tell me about. Alam mo nangyari sa kanya? nag siyang maging pari. Because from the host is the energy that is not natural. The power of the divine. My dear friends, when Jesus decided to die for us, And when they declared that that evening of the Last Supper, take this, this is my body, this is my blood. Alam mo, dinugtong niya, this is for you. This is for you. This is the life I have received from my Father. And I want you to partake of that life by partaking of me as real food indeed. And so when we partake of Jesus, truly, eternal life, the life of the Father in Jesus is given to us. This is something no other religions claim. Not even all Christian religions. This is not just a symbol. This is not a representation. Jesus himself truly is present in here. Alam mo yung miracles of the Eucharist are incredible. Siyempre narinig na natin yung Lansiano, Italy. Kung saan Yung isang paring, parang nagdududa na. When he comes, we celebrated the Mass, the bread turned into flesh. And when they tinignan, in 1971, in 1981, twice, pinasilip yan, pinasi pinatignan sa mga eksperto. They would discover that it is not just human flesh. They would discover that the bread has turned into the flesh of the human heart. The place of love. The symbol of love. Pero itong maganda, tinignan na rin nila yung, yung blood, yung wine, na naging apat na kanjil blood, lima, limang kanjil, maliliit. No? So sinilip nila yon, and they discovered it's type AB. Ang nakakatuwa, in 1978, NASA also began to examine yung Shroud of Turin. Kung saan, yun ang pinambalot kay Jesus. You know what type they found? Type AB. At alam nyo rin ba yung, yung, yung towel ni Neveronica da Sudarium na inilagay sa mukha ng Panginoon? Sinilip din ng NASA yun. You know what type they discovered in the blood? Type AB. My dear friends, ito ba'y kwentong kutsero? Or is Jesus trying to prove that it truly is present? Body, blood, 
soul divinity. Ito pa na-discovery ko, nakakatawa. Since 1,300 years ago, the bread that is flesh remains. Pag ginawa ka mo, the texture is the same. Yung congealed na blood, the five globules of blood, in-examine nila yun. And in their examination, they were so careful, they wanted to weigh, uh, timbangin, uh, gano'n ba kabigat? So yung lima, sabay-sibay nilang tinimbang. Eto ang weight. Tinanggal nila yung apat, inilagay sa timbangan yung isa. Ang gulat sila. Pareho ang weight. Ipinasok nila yung dalawa pa. Pareho ang weight. Tinanggal nila ang isa, iniwan dalawa. Pareho ang weight. What is Jesus telling us? He is present in every particle of the consecrated wine of the consecrated host. My dear friends, today, you know, si Thomas Aquinas ang nagformula, naggumawa ng kantang iyon. O sacrament most holy, O sacrament divine, all praise and all thanksgiving be every moment thy. My dear friends, Jesus that does want to stay only in the tabernacle, He wants to be received. He wants to be found in all of us. He wants that His life be in us. You can have my life. You can have my power. You can have my Father's gifts. Today, we say, Pasasalamat, Eucharistia, sapagat yung inan ang ibig niyan, sabihin. As we stand before such incredible love, just remember this. This is God's way of becoming a part of us and we becoming a part of Him. Eternal life begins now when we receive Jesus into our hearts. Amen. Please all rise as we proclaim, I believe in one God. The Father Almighty, maker of heaven and earth, of all things visible and invisible. I believe in one Lord Jesus Christ, the only begotten Son of God, born of the Father before all ages, God from God, light from light, true God from true God, begotten not made, consubstantial with the Father. Through Him all things were made. For us men and for our salvation, He came down from heaven, and by the Holy Spirit, was incarnate of the Virgin Mary, and became man. For our sake he was crucified under Pontius Pilate. He suffered death and was buried, and rose again on the third day, in accordance with the Scriptures. He ascended into heaven, and is seated at the right hand of the Father. He will come again in glory to judge the living and the dead, and his kingdom will have no end. I believe in the Holy Spirit, the Lord, the giver of life, who proceeds from the Father and the Son, who with the Father and the Son is adored and glorified, who has spoken through the prophets. I believe in one holy, Catholic, and apostolic church. I confess one baptism for the forgiveness of sins, and I look forward to the resurrection of the dead and the life of the world to come. Amen. My brothers and sisters, let us now come before Jesus and with Him pray to the Father that the life He offers us may truly be found in all as we accept Him as the bread of life. Let our response be, Lord, strengthen and protect Your people. Lord, strengthen and protect Your people. May the Church and her leaders throughout the world become a beacon of light communicating the message of Jesus to all people, we pray. Lord, strengthen and protect your people. May government leaders mirror in their lives the holiness and challenge of the Eucharist in which they participate, we pray. Lord, strengthen and protect your people. May all consecrated persons worship the sacrament of the Lord's body and blood with deep faith and devotion, we pray. Lord, strengthen and protect your people. May the Lord restore health to the sick and give pardon to sinners, hope to the dying, and eternal life to our beloved departed, we pray. Lord, strengthen and protect your people.
We pray for the repose of the souls of Arthur Macapagal, Elena Baturino, Chit Villarreal, Franz Rogel, for the intentions of Philip Theomar Ratin for the medical exams, for the healing of Ramon Subiron, Ambassador Antonio Cabangon Chua, Elianor Saez Bong de Ocampo, and Margarita. We pray too for all of those who do not believe in the Eucharist, that Jesus may be for all the source of life, of power, of healing. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, strengthen and protect your people. Lord, heed the prayers of your people whom you nourish by your Son's body and blood. Hear our petitions and grant us eternal life with Him who lives and reigns forever and ever. Amen. Katulad ng ating sinabi last Sunday, ang ating pong koleksyon sa araw na ito ay gagamitin po natin para sa ating Acts Catholic Prayer Community Outreach na gagawin po natin sa Smoky Mountain sa Tondo. Let the generosity of Jesus flow through you today upang itong ating mga 500 families ay ating pong matulungan doon po sa Tondo sa Smoky Mountain. Please be seated as we begin our offertory. all stand. Pray, my dear friends, that your sacrifice in mine be made acceptable to God, the Almighty Father. May the Lord accept the sacrifice at your hands for the praise and glory of His name, for our good and the good of all His holy church. Receive our oblation, O Lord, by which is brought about a glorious exchange, that by offering what you have given, we may merit to receive your very self through Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. Lift up your hearts. We we'll lift them up to the Lord. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is right and just. It is truly right and just our duty and our salvation. Always and everywhere to give you thanks, Lord, Holy Father, Almighty and Eternal God. For in you we live and move and have our being. And while in this body we not only experience the daily effects of your care, but even now possess the pledge of eternal life. For having received the first fruits of the Spirit through whom you raise up Jesus from the dead, we hope for an everlasting share in the Paschal mystery. 
And so with all the angels we praise you, as in joyful celebration we acclaim. of all holiness. Make holy therefore these gifts we pray by sending down your spirit upon them like the dewfall so that they may become for us the body and blood of Jesus Christ our Lord. At the time he was betrayed and entered willingly into his passion, he took bread and giving thanks broke it, gave it to his disciples saying, Take this all of you and eat of it, for this is my body, which will be given up for you. In a similar way, when supper was ended, he took the chalice and once more giving thanks. He gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this all of you and drink from it, for this is the chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and eternal covenant, which will be poured out for you and for many for the forgiveness of sins. To this in memory of me. The Mystery of Faith We celebrate the memorial of his death and resurrection. We offer you, Lord, the bread of life and the chalice of salvation, giving thanks that you have held us worthy to be in your presence and minister to you. Humbly we pray that partaking of the body and blood of Christ we may be gathered into one by the Holy Spirit. Remember, Lord, your church spread throughout the world and bring it to the fullness of charity. Together with Francis, our Pope, with Luis Antonio, our Bishop, and all the clergy. Remember also our brothers and sisters who have fallen asleep in the hope of the resurrection, and all who have died in your mercy. Welcome them into the light of your face. Have mercy on us all, we pray, that with the Blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of God, with blessed Joseph, her spouse, with the blessed apostles, and all the saints who have pleased you throughout the ages, we may merit to be co-heirs to eternal life, and may praise and glorify you to your Son, Jesus Christ. Sa pamamagitan ni Cristo, 
kasamanyat sa kanya ang lahat ng parangal at papuri ay sa iyo sa sa walang hangga Now pray to the Father in heaven, praying not just for our daily bread, but for the bread that gives us eternal life, the life of God. We pray the Our Father. So Lord, we pray from every evil, graciously grant peace in our days, that by the help of your mercy, we may always be free from sin, safe from all distress, as we await the blessed hope in the coming of our Savior, Jesus the Christ. Jesus Christ, who said to your apostles, Peace I leave you, my peace I give you. Look not on our sins, but on the faith of your church, and graciously grant her peace and unity in accordance with your will, who live and reign forever and ever. Amen. The peace of the Lord be with you always. And with your spirit. Communion, to make common. And Jesus desires that we be in union with him. His life in us. At kung lahat tayo tumatanggap, we are also in communion with one another. Bless the person beside you with God's peace. Peace be with you.
This is Jesus, the eternal bread, who offers us the life of God. Happy are we who come to receive him. Lord, I am not worthy that you should enter under my roof, but only say the word, and my soul shall be healed. For those of you who are unable to receive Holy Communion, especially our brothers and sisters who are joining us in this TV Mass, we invite you to pray with us this prayer for spiritual communion. My Jesus, I believe that you are present in the most holy sacrament. I love you above all things, and I desire to receive you into my soul. Since I cannot at this moment receive you sacramentally, come at least spiritually into my heart. I embrace you as if you were already there and unite myself wholly to you. Never permit me to be separated from you. Amen. Wednesday, dito po sa ating prayer meeting ng Acts Catholic Prayer Community sa alas 7 po ng gabi ay magbibigay po ang isa sa mga kilala din po 
sa Kerigma Group si Obet Cabrillas sharing Christ with others. Umpisan po yan ng maigsing prayer worship at pagkatapos magbibigay po si Brother Obet Cabrillas ng kanya pong talk about sharing Jesus with others. Gusto ko lang pong uling sasabihin na sana makatulong po tayo dito po sa ating Love in Action Ministry sa gagawin po nating outreach sa 12 September para po sa Smoky Mountain Tondo sa 500 families. Naghahanap po kami ng mga doctors and nurses na mag-volunteer yung mga medicines, reading glasses, donations, at magpapakain din po tayo para po sa mga batang na andun. Uh, maghahanap po kami ng mga gift givings para po sa 500 packs. Mosquito nets, sleeping mat, towels, blankets, rice, coffee, three in one, luncheon meat, Karni Norte, Meatloaf, uh, Lechon, Baka, you know, mga ganun. Ah, hindi. Simple lang po, you know. Ang mahalaga po ay may maibigay po tayo sa kanila. So kung may mga doctors and nurses po na nais mag-volunteer, uh, get in touch with us September 12 pa naman para po dito sa outreach na ito. Tayo po yung magsitayo. And let us pray. Made partakers of Christ through these sacraments, we humbly implore your mercy, Lord, that conformed to his image on earth, we may merit also to be his co-heirs in heaven, who lives and reigns forever and ever. Amen. Power, energy, eternal life. That is what Jesus promises to us. My dear friends, if only we open our hearts to him in belief, he will come. with the power of the divine. Let's call on Jesus. We say, say Jesus. The bread of life. Jesus. The son of the eternal father. Jesus. The God who saves. Jesus. The prince of peace. Come. Come to your people. Say it once again, Jesus, who promises us that we will never be hungry, we will never be thirsty, if we receive you in the Eucharist. Jesus, who promises us light, forgiveness, strength, mercy, and peace. Show mercy to your people. Now whisper his name. Lord, paspasan niyo po ang lahat ng mga nanonood sa amin sa telebisyon. Ang mga nawawala ng pag-asa. Ang mga nabibigatan ng krus ng buhay. Ang mga nawawala ng direksyon. Ang mga nasa kadiliman. Let the light of Jesus, of your presence in the Eucharist, touch them, heal them. sa iyong pangalan binabaspasan namin ang buong mundo na tunay mong ipamalas ang iyong kapangyarihan the God who saves Jesus eternal God may you continuing presence in the Eucharist be for us health nourishment victory over evil Oh Jesus, the Eucharistic King and Lord, have mercy on your people. We have prayed in your Son's name. Grant us the gift of salvation and peace, O oh Father, until we will be with Jesus and the Spirit and with you. In the eternal life, your promise through Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. May Almighty God bless you all, the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen. Go in the peace and love of the Lord. Thanks be to God.